Morning folks, Lester here. And uh, today I come to you with a desire to talk. I just wanna talk. Now, yes, it's true that by and far we are an animal channel, but today's not the day for you to scream and holler that I only come here for the animals. I don't wanna hear you talk, Lester. Could I ask you to go to a Disney channel then, or could I ask you to go find somewhere else to go today? because I need to talk. Lester has things on my chest and things on my mind, and I just wanna talk. I'm not asking you to agree with me. I'm asking you just to let me talk. Let me, let me, and, and talk with me, but let's have a civil conversation. I do think that probably one of the worst things that can happen to a relationship or a country is people stop talking and I have a lot to do today, and there are going to be animals in this video, I can promise you that, even baby animals, even that's even better. Lots of babies, brand new babies. But I also need to talk, y'all. I wanna talk about what I saw yesterday on the TV. I wanna talk about some of the comments that I keep seeing on our channels and across the internet, on all kinds of channels. So just give me a chance to talk, please not judge me based on the fact that I need to talk to somebody. You are my somebody, you're my person, you're my people, and I need to talk. I think that anyone that knows us believes me when I say that we're not a political family. None of us register as Democrat or as Republican. As a matter of fact, we switch and vote back and forth for whichever candidate we feel might be best for the country at that given time. Heck, I'm embarrassed to admit it. I voted for Ross Perot. <laughs> I voted for Ross Perot back in the days because I thought that our country needed some financial leadership. He lost but listen thing is it doesn't matter who I vote for who you vote for because and even though everyone can say that because that's a private matter Lester well, you should never tell someone who you vote for I don't, I don't care if you know guys I don't keep those kind of secrets and I'm also not here to encourage you and to who to vote for I, I don't care but that right there itself is the key you vote, and that's the, the votes. Votes decide who wins an election. Votes. There's a system set up in our country to decide who wins and who will lose. And that system set up is supposed to be the voice of the people decide. It's a democracy. That's what we do here. And it just hurts me, it saddens me so much to see what happened yesterday. And to have so many people try to justify that. Even going as far as on our channels, fighting and arguing back and forth with each other. Some even saying, darn, I hate that they missed. Which means you in fact, are condoning murder of a person that you don't like. And guys, that's not who we are. That's not, I don't, I don't think that's who you are. And God forbid, I hope that's not the type of country that we're becoming. I think one of the things that I've said over and over and over is it's okay. We can agree to disagree. Well, Lester, maybe you shouldn't talk about it. Lester, maybe you should not talk about it and you would not have to deal with it. Well, you know what? I'm so sorry, but guess what? This is a channel who does talk. We're a channel who does talk. We're a place where we can come and talk. People can share stories. And, and including the author of this channel is absolutely able to share my perspective on things. Always reminding you that you do not have to agree you know, if you don't like a guy, you don't vote for him. 
if you do like a guy or girl, you vote for them. Simple. Simple. Killing somebody who you don't like is still murder. So this is the kind of food that she likes over here. It's fancy feast petites. Now I will need two hands to open this. Can y'all give me one moment? Here we go, sweetie. Hold on, kitty. Baby girl, give me a second. Now, come on, Dad, I'm hungry. I worked all night in guarding the barn and I need you to hurry up with my breakfast. Okay, oh, sweetie, sorry, sweetie. Your tail's in the way, sweetie. Here, all right, there you go. There you go, come on, there you go. Eat it up, kitty cat, eat it up. This is White Kitty, y'all. Her name is Avalanche. The boys named her that. I just call her White Kitty. I'm gonna back up and we're gonna take the farm truck. We're gonna also bring back a roll of hay from the sanctuary to put in with our littles. Um, in a democracy, like we're blessed to live in, you win an election based on the results of a vote. You do not assassinate your political rival or your political opponent. That in fact is what happens in, well, I'm just gonna say it and it sounds harsh, but that's what happens in third world countries. It's just a whole different culture and that's not the American way. And what we saw yesterday, an attempted assassination to have so many people supporting the attempted assassination of a man. It's just heartbreaking to us, just heartbreaking. And we would feel the same way if it were any man or woman. You just don't do that here. I think that that borders, that borders on the term barbaric, just barbaric. So I am just getting to the J&L and I'm gonna drive over and do a head count and a baby check. And what I'm noticing right now, and I'm just kind of like slowly panning across from a very large range, is that I do not see Dolly or Reba anywhere along the fence line with everybody else. I know it's hard for you all to see, but uh, we got several laid up along the tree line there in the shade. All of our white cows are over here kind of together, but I do not see Dolly or Reba anywhere. And uh, don't forget they are sisters, so they could very well be hanging together. We just gotta find out where they're at and what's going on with them and why they're off on their own. I also wanna point out that it is a rainy day which means we have a low pressure system. That's the barometric pressure, which is a huge determiner. And when a cow has a calf, you guys bear with me for a moment. Let's cross through our little spot here.
ever seen their dad? Have I ever showed you guys their dad? His name's Hank. That's his registered name is Hank. <laughs> I'm gonna show you their dad. Y'all check out this guy. What a stud. acting and she's moving around in a very erratic fashion tail is up her tail is up she's smelling and sniffing around on something on the ground there we're gonna walk over and have a little bit closer peek remember that she was not one of our original babies which means that we don't really know her her demeanor when it comes to stuff like this that's a look of pain on her face right there I want you to notice her tail being out and then I'm wondering if there's actually anything in the grass there beside her the the, the high limbs I don't want to run her out of her spot she's found a location and uh, she's absolutely looking around like she's okay so this is more than likely a contraction here we go I'm gonna probably switch over and go to a live video if you guys are okay with that. Let me make sure that what I'm seeing is what I think I'm seeing. And then we will just jump around to a live video. Yes, I'm almost certain that what we're watching is what we're watching. Let me grab that live video now. I'm going to zoom into without bothering her too much. The calf did, it was born breached. So you can all see the reasoning behind the complications. The calf did come out backwards, but she was able to deliver that calf herself. Mom is doing her job in cleaning everything up. I hope you all were able to see what I was trying to video, but the calf did in fact come out breached, but mom was able to do that on her own. You did a good job, baby. I wanna see that cow move. Okay, calf is moving. Mom's trying to get calf to breathe right now. We're not going to bother this at all. We're going to let her do her thing. You did a good job, sweetie. you're wondering what has happened over here we have a story to tell yes we have a story to tell and uh, you can catch that story in this particular video now if you want to have all the good juicy details just know that this video will show you some things but if you want the rest if you want the whole story you'll have to go to the live we did a half Facebook live that was the first half, and the second half was a YouTube Live. Both of those are on the Longhorn Lester channels on Facebook and then on YouTube. And the last thing I'm gonna say is that Jamie and I are not fully convinced that this is the one and done. We may have another calf in there. Mom's been doing a couple of things that look a little bit strange, kind of hunching back and hunching down. Um, and we don't know for a fact if it's just gonna be one. But Dolly has delivered a beautiful little girl. Her, her older daughter here is peeking over, wanting to see the beautiful little sister. And 
We are just could not be happier. Don't let your troubles fester. Come watch Longhorn Lester. <laughs> yeah, something like that.